This film, it has all the elements in the tradition of Jack London. It's beautifully savage, horrendously poetic, and epic at the same time. Alejandro wanted the movie to be incredibly immersive, to be plunged into the world of glass. It's to be cared for as long as necessary. I understand. Hugh Glass is part of American folklore. But he was a real person, and these things really did happen. Get away! Help! There's different levels of the film. The surface, you can see a story of survival. Behind the surface is what it was before that, which was he has lost his family. The movie is an affirmation of life. You can see the struggle for survival in every shot. It's one man's journey, but at the same time, he goes through an entire lifetime of emotions. My head was that boy, and he took him from me. Revenant achieved the physicality of these brutal things that happened to him. Big scale, but at the same time, get to the spiritual nature of Hugh Glass. These shots are about creating an intimacy with the actors within an epic landscape. All these geographies is important because it's telling you a lot about the characters, not only the external journey, but about the internal journey of the characters. He's afraid. He knows how far I came to find him. But I think more than anything, what Alejandro wanted to do was create poetry in that story, what it means to have all the chips stacked against you and this triumph of the human spirit. For me, the most important thing was the love of a father and a son, and that's the heart of the film. It's almost like another sense is awakened. You're fully immersed in this movie that really takes your breath away. thing to do would be to finish him off quick. We did what we had to do. He was buried right. I ain't afraid to die anymore. I done it already.